Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm out here shooting my AK. It's a 30 caliber AK, but what I want to show you is this stock system. Of course I have an M4 style stock and buffer tube on this AK, but what's unique about it is how I've mounted it. This is a rifle dynamics mount. It's called the RDAK M4 mount, and it has some really cool properties I want to talk about here in just a few minutes, but what it really is nice, what it allows you to do is adjust your length of pull for using optics like the CMR 30 caliber AK scope mounted via this Midwest Industries mount. First of all, this sets the scope really, really low, but this also allows me to get the proper cheek weld, which you'll notice with the rifle on my shoulder. I have my cheek firmly planted, which is kind of unique for an AK, but it also allows me to get the right length of pull, so I got, got the proper eye relief with the optic. Anyway, let's take a closer look at this mount system and talk a little bit about those properties and what makes it so unique. So this is the RDAKM4 mount system. Now it looks kind of odd, right? It's strange looking. That's because the rifle's tang will actually be hidden inside the M4 buffer tube. You don't have to remove your rear trunnion. It uses a standard trunnion, has the mounting holes for it. This mounts flush right here. You can see it on the rifle. Mounts just like that. So this block is inside the receiver and the tang is inside the M4 buffer tube. Now another thing that's really cool about this is you'll notice it has a standard M4 style end plate on it. That means you can mount different types of accessories that need that end plate, like this Midwest Industries QD mount system that you see here. So that's what, one of the really cool features. Now the other thing is, is you'll notice that it sets really, really high and that goes back to what I was talking about, where it gives you that proper cheek weld even for iron sights or low mounted optics, like what we have here at the CMR set setup. Now I have another AK here. I'm gonna show you what the installation process looks like. It's super simple to install. This, they ship you this kit, all you're going to need is two Allen wrenches and whatever uh, screwdriver or wrench that you need to remove your stock from your rifle. So let me grab another rifle and do a quick installation for you here and show you how this thing mounts. All right, so you guys have seen my Definitive Arms 223 AK with the AR-15 Magwell adapter on it. This is the rifle I want to put the stock system on. I like it that much. So the first thing you want to do is get all your tools ready. I have my uh, buffer tube tool here, have my Allen wrenches I'm going to need to install the Rifle Dynamics um, RD AKM4 converter, and then of course I bought a ATI military spec buffer tube kit. All I'm going to use out of it is of course the tube, the castle nut, and the end plate. And everything else Rifle Dynamics gives to me, screws and everything else. So first you're going to want to take, and I also have of course a Magpul MOE stock. Alright, so I'm going to take my AK apart, pop the top cover off, all I need to do is just get to these two screws here. With this rifle, I have just a regular Phillips head. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this. Looks like this is going to come right out, though. Yeah, look at that. Came right out. No cussing. All right. It's going to be even easier than I thought. Now all you have to do is here's your rear tang. You're going to take this part of the Rifle Dynamics conversion kit thing here, set it in there, and you have two screws. You don't want to... This is going to be hard because my fingers are numb. It is cold out here today. Just cold enough to be annoying, really. All right, so now I'm going to mount this first one, which will make it a little bit easier to mount the second one. Tighten that down. Now, you really sh should use some blue Loctite, something like that. I'll do that later. I'm not going to do it right now. and tight. Don't want to over tighten these because you can strip these things out. All right. Next you're going to want to put this end piece on. You'll notice it slides right over the tang and you have two screws that you have to line up just like that. There's one I think I got it started. Nope. Let's see if I can hit that pole there. Okay, nailed it. And one more. Just going from one to the other. All right, now you'll want to screw the buffer tube on. Back that castle nut out all the way. I'll screw it in until it bottoms out and I'll back it off a little bit. Now you can stake this in place if you want. Okay, there it's touching, so I'm gonna back it off where it lines up. I'm going to push the end plate down 
where it lines up, and I'm going to screw that castle nut down. Now again, if you want to, you can stake this. I'm not going to stake it. I've never had a problem with castle nuts backing off. Take your wrench. Set that on there. Tighten everything down good. And now you have your buffer tube on. It's rock solid. You can go ahead and put the rifle back together at this point. Put your recoil spring back in. Put your top cover on. And now it's time to put the stock itself on. Big fan of the MOE stocks. They're simple, they're not horribly expensive. Slide that on. Pull that locking piece down. Put it in place. And there you go. That simple. So I have the RD AKM4 mount on the rifle now, this Definitive Arms AK. And you can see it looks very sharp on the rifle, at least I think so. And of course, I've put a little bit of CLP here on the buffer tube so it makes it slide a little bit easier. I like my stock about two clicks out from the fully closed position. But this stock now allows me, if I decide to mount optics on the rail over here, I can now pull that stock out, give myself the proper length of pull for optics, or I can collapse it back into where I like it for using red dot sights like I have on this rifle. Rifle Dynamics is located in Las Vegas. Jim Fuller is the go-to guy for AKs. I have one of his rifles that crank off of, that I have was built by uh, Rifle Dynamics and Jim Fuller. $64.99 for this mount system. Again, it hides everything inside the tang, or it hides the tang inside the buffer tube. I just think it's really sharp looking on the rifle. Let's do a little bit of shooting with it on the Definitive Arms AK and see how it goes. perfect. I love the way that feels. It sets that stock up just high enough where the sights work perfectly with the AK. If you guys have any questions about this stock system, you can always ask those questions on our Facebook page. You can find us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash military arms. I'll also put a link to Rifle Dynamics in the description below. Thanks for watching everybody.